welcome back to the channel. Today I have a Valentine's Day lookbook slash Vestia Collective haul. So before I get started, I'm gonna tell you guys more about Vestia Collective. I've actually already done one video before telling you guys more about them. Basically, they are a global leading app for pre-loved designer fashion pieces where you can get them up to 70% off. 100% authentic. There are so many different checks and balances in place to make sure that the item that you receive is real and authentic because they all have in-house people that will authenticate it for you. The previous time I actually got my Dior bag from there and I've been loving it ever since. Today I have a Valentine's Day haul. Uh, it's a whole bunch of other things. So we've got bags, we've got clothes, we've got shoes and accessories and so on. Before I get started, maybe we can recap a little bit more about Valentine's Day and how it has been for me or what it has been <laughs> throughout the entire 10 years that me and I have been together. It's gonna be very embarrassing but I'm gonna pull up some old pictures that I found. We celebrated our first Valentine's Day I think in 2013 because we got together at the end of 2012. <gasps> It really brought back so many memories because it made me remember how simple life was and how simple our Valentine's Day dates were. I met him when I was like 19 and we were really poor students. So for Valentine's Day, we would go to like Swenson's and Four Fingers and that would make us super happy and we would take lots and lots of pictures and we looked so young back then. Subsequently across the years, I remember the next year, we actually went to a nice restaurant that was was uh, Equinox, I think. We dressed up like super fancy and he bought me a stock of rose. And then the year after, he bought me a bouquet of roses. So as you can see, uh, as the years progressed, like, you know, we started buying more and more things for each other. Looking back on the first Valentine's Day, it was so simple. And, you know, he made me a card. He printed pictures using a bubble jet printer. He didn't even go to a photo shop to go and print the pictures. He used like his house ink printer. Like it was actually a very simple affair, very very uh, cozy. It's just a day that we kind of set aside time to spend time with each other and I guess proclaim our love for each other. This year for Valentine's Day, I know he's already made a booking but um, we always have this tradition that we wouldn't go to a restaurant on the 14th of February itself. That's the day where the restaurants will usually only serve Valentine's Day menu and they'll jack up the prices. So I'm glad that we still have have this tradition till today. This year we are actually celebrating on the 20th of February. So by the time you're watching this, I still haven't had my <laughs> Valentine's Day dinner yet. Back to Vestia Collective. As I mentioned, they are an app or a platform where you can buy and sell your pre-loved luxury items. And for me, as I start to get older, I start to really appreciate things that are made of better quality. Not only are these pieces a little bit more timeless, uh, you can also kind of wear them for a longer period of time. And the best thing is they actually have a resale value as well. That way you can sell it to someone else who might like this item, you know, years down the road if you keep it in good condition. And I feel that that's also a smarter way of shopping. You can now use the money to fund your next purchase and that way your wardrobe is always ever changing. This is also a little bit more sustainable I feel because you don't have a lot of clothes that would go to waste or like sit at the back of a closet for many, 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 many years. And then at the end of the day, you just end up throwing them away. So, there are quite a lot of new changes this time. Vestia Collective now does direct shipping within Singapore, so I was able to get my items much, 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 much faster. There's also a new make and offer feature. And if you see a product that you really like, you can press on make an offer and you can just offer the price that you're comfortable with. So there is a little bit of negotiating grounds over there. So if you're worried about whether or not the items that you're getting are authentic or of good quality, they actually have in-house experts and quality control teams that will kind of verify that for you. Every piece, especially like for their fashion uh, items, comes with a tag like this that says, thank you for creating a future of fashion with us. Please only remove this label when you're satisfied with your item's quality and you have inspected by this person's name over here and when it was inspected. Mine was inspected by Chloe, which is their in-house quality control inspector. Kind of like a peace of mind when you're shopping because it has been authenticated by them and they've put their stamp of approval on it that the quality is there before it gets sent out to you. The app is also very very seamless to use. You can kind of filter with like never worn with tags, never worn, very good condition, so on and so forth. And of course you can just
just type it into the search bar, the exact item you are looking at, and you can see a whole list of sellers over there. So let's get started with the haul. So the first thing that I got is this Balmain t-shirt. It's so soft. Um, it's a very, very classic piece. Pair it with just shorts or jeans, skirt or anything, and it really will just elevate the entire look. It also comes with the iconic Balmain gold buttons at the side. Next up, also from Balmain, they are very famous for their blazers. And this one also comes with a tag that says, in case of any doubt on quality control, please keep the label attached. Quality is so good. It has such a nice structure. Um, it is black. It comes with a non-functional pocket at the side, but you have a functional pocket in here. Next up, I've got this dress from Valentino. So it's a very, very sweet dress. I can imagine someone wearing this and going to the beach in it, uh, or just sitting by the seaside having some nice champagne and eating calamari. I don't know why that thought came to my head because I love calamari. Kind of like a cotton-ish material. You have buttons all the way to your waistline. You have a nice uh, collar over here, but it's sleeveless. And a very nice asymmetrical detail with some layers and ruffles over here. So you have very good dimensions. Dun, 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 dun. Something from Dior. I want to show you guys this pair of heels that you have already seen everywhere on like magazines and on other influencers. Dior Peyton Heels. This one is in the nude uh, colour. It's slightly shiny. It has a nice sling bag, a very iconic Dior uh, logo over here. It's a small little kitten heel. I think it's going to be quite comfortable, but the quality is actually really nice and well maintained. How do people maintain their things so well? Like. <laughs> I really need to pay more attention to maintaining my uh, luxury items or my designer goods so that I can resell them in the future if I want to. Also from Dior, we've got the Dior saddlebag. So this is the canvas one. It has the iconic Dior uh, logos all over and your gold hardware like this. And it looks as good as new. Like It's in very, very good condition. I got another accessory. Here's also something that you can find on Vestia Collective. An Hermes scarf. So I'm going to show you guys how I would style this later on but basically you can do a lot of things with a scarf. You can tie it on your neck, tie it on your wrist, tie it in your hair or just make it like a twilly for your back. It has nice flower details and it's also a nude colour. You have some gold trimmings at the side like this. It's a pretty big piece. Here's a small little cute bag from... YSL, so this one I would imagine it to be for that very edgy kind of person. I think it's quite gender neutral actually and you can probably fit like your cards, fit your lipstick and it has like silver hardware, a silver chain. Ta-da! Last but not the least, something from YSL. These are earrings. I actually used them as well in my previous video. So if you watch my previous Vestia collective haul, you will also have seen this where I styled these YSL iconic earrings. One side is the YS and the other side is the L. So it comes together in a set and it's kind of like not matchy. So it looks kind of cool. Without further ado, let's get styling. <laughs> Já viu rico namorar pobre?
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I also have a code over here where you can get 10% off a minimum of $1,000 spent on the Vestia Collective app. So don't forget to check out the description box below to download the app. I'm going to leave all of the links that I can find in there. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Happy Valentine's Day! Thank <laughs> you.